Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rune World. Um, we're picking up right after the last episode, but uh, between that episode and this I've decided to make a few changes. Now, this in the end of the last episode we opened up this new area and I wanted it walled off um, to stop us being attacked through there, but I'm a little bit worried at the moment that that's going to be a lot of work when there's other things I want to do. So I'm going to cancel that. And we'll concentrate on other things instead, because quite frankly, in order to, to to block off this area, we could quite easily for now just put three doors in here. And in fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just put three wooden doors in, and that will slow people down in case we get attacked from the side there. So that will do the trick. The other thing is, we have a lot of people running backwards and forwards to this corner where they're picking up bits and pieces and I'm a little bit concerned that um, we're spending too much time running backwards and forwards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of this stuff forbidden for now and I believe there's a few weapons up here just to stop people running backwards and forwards for a bit because there's other things I'd like them to do because I'm still a little bit concerned about the uh, defensive area around our base and I would like to get that sorted out as quickly as possible so there we go let's get that sorted out Tara what are you up to no don't want you doing that there we go you come back and sleep that's good so uh, Grumpy sorting that out good man if a little grumpy. So we'll get those doors done. There's a few other little bits and pieces that I would like to actually get sorted out immediately. The first one of which is because we have our nice new kitchen area we don't need this table anymore. So we'll mark that to deconstruct. Sorry that's cancel. That one's deconstruct. And we will get rid of this zone because we no longer need them. And with that freed up we can start putting some um, hydroponic gardens there I think so that's that's one thing the other one is I've noticed that this is a bit of a vulnerability we have a power generation here and if that door gets destroyed by raiders uh, or anyone attacking us then we actually lose um, this chunk of power which means we're relying on this which is not big enough and these batteries so the other thing I want to put in immediately is just quickly a power conduit which if we put across there it's most likely to be perfectly safe for now. We'll reinforce that later on when we get rid of this area to be honest with you because I, I, I desperately want us to actually have this as our entryway into the colony and um, this being our um, defenses. So while I'm thinking about that actually we will put in that, that and that and structure metal wall up here. Once oh, cancel that then bit. Once that that is built then we can build guns in here and they will draw power off of this wall. That's a little bit of a vulnerability but we'll see how we go with that. Okay so let's let them get on with their things. Uh, Grumpy's harvesting, that's good. Jonah, where are you off to? What have I missed? Hauling dead squirrel. Don't want you hauling a dead anything at the moment. Look at all this way you've got to go. So, there we go. And let's see what you do instead, Jonah, because I want you doing other things. Hauling potatoes, yeah, haul potatoes, that's excellent. There we go, and Galga's busy building that wall up there, that's nice. Now that that little bit's in, we will actually ask them to start putting some turrets in. Okay, the, the logic here is these brick walls, these stone walls, will stop these turrets from damaging oh we've been attacked a group of tribes people have arrived nearby and they're attacking immediately great timing where are they oh joy oh well we wouldn't have built that wall in time anyway let's get everyone 
let's get everyone drafted there we go and let's get everyone here in fact we might as well use this area to fight them in so who's got what weapon you've got a pistol so you can be close here John go here Galga, yeah, you got a pistol, so you pop up under this behind this wall here. Alright, you can't go on where that rock is, can you? Okay, well that's something to remember. So you go there. Tara, you're a cook, and I actually want to save you a little bit, so you pull back here. Ichabod, who is our doctor by the way? Uh, everyone's our doctor, so that's not really a problem. Gumpy. No, I don't like up there. Tell you what, you come down here. Ichabod, where are you going? You go there. All right, at least you get a few shots on them as they run past. And Tigress, how can I have forgotten you? You've got a great range. Tell you what, Barrow, you've only got a pistol. You come down here. And Tigris, you go here. At least we're getting some use out of these cover. There was no way we'd have built that wall in time. And if they're just going to sit around and shoot at those, that's great because when those blow up, it's probably going to wound them a lot as well. Which I think it's just, there we go. That's thinned about nice and neatly, hasn't it? So now they're going to come for the doors. A group from a village at the Crag are visiting. There's still a load of them, isn't there? But I think we're going to do pretty well now. There we go, another one down. Just keep an eye on people's damage. John's getting a little bit hurt, so is Jono. But I think they're suffering worse. And hopefully these guys will help us. In fact, Gumpy, why don't you pop up here? And Barrow, why don't you pop up here as well? Oh great, that's it. Wander through the firefight, why don't you? John, you're looking a bit hurt. No, it's still half health. I think you'll do. Yep. We've done it. Excellent. Is there anybody here we can save? In fact, while we're at it, you guys, who's got good shots? Who's good shots? You can come here. Jono, you've got a terrible... Actually, you've got a pretty good weapon, thinking about it. It's not a nice power, that pistol. Uh, you've got an Uzi, so you can come down here. And Tigress, you've got the sniper rifle. You can come down here as well. It's going to take them a while to get through that door, so let's see if we can grab a few on the way through. You two. Undraft. Tara. Undraft. Galga. Undraft. Is there anything we want to keep there? Not really. So, oh, we'll deal with that later. Actually, we might as well deal with it now, wouldn't we? Uh, one pylon that can go to be sold, and those bows can go to be told as well. Excellent. Right, they've got to break out, which they already have. Never mind, no great loss. Undraft those, and they need to get a door. Power door in there, and you could kindly prioritize that. That would be good. So, we survived. Nobody to capture, which is a shame. But still, we did it, and that's all that matters. 
John's back at work breaking down some rocks. Ichabod, what are you up to? Eating for a simple meal. No, I need that finished, I'm afraid. There we go. I know you're hungry. But the sooner we get that done, the sooner we're likely to get through this without losing all our power. Come on. Excellent. So, that was our first big test of our defences. I think that went very well. A um, bit ad hoc, but this has already proven its worth, so that's not bad. And we're build, actually building a turret now, after the, after the event. Way! Our haulers get rid of this stuff in the morning. And we can get back to where we were. And thanks for the help, you guys. Really appreciate it. Oh, dear. Group of travelers are passing by. Never mind. And there we go. We haven't recovered power yet, so the batteries have just run out. I may actually chuck some more solar panels in later on, but we should be good. Okay, what do we have here? We have a couple of corpses here as well. And we've lost our mortars, but we don't need to rebuild those just yet. A couple of pilers. We need better weapons, really, don't we? Uh, never mind. Okay, let's rush through the night and start the next day. All in all, we're looking all right. So there's Galga knocking the wall together. Excellent. We can get those doors in, and then after we've got those doors in, we'll think about putting that stone wall in there. But right now, I think I'm actually more inclined to put a stone wall across the bottom here as quickly as we can. Once we've got a few turrets in place, we should be all right for now. There you go, John. Good on you. Good on you, Jono. Get rid of those. A Navy scientist. Not interested. A surgeon is passing by. Never mind. Don't want either of those. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Just had a thought. Where is this guy? He's passing by. The guy who's passing by, Annabelle, dazed and wandering. We're not going to be able to help you, I'm afraid. What do we have here? Oh, huh, they fought amongst each other. Okay, we'll have that. That's an extra pistol. We can sell that if nothing else, can't we? Okay, moving on. Right, let's get that turned off because we don't actually have much power at the moment. Detected a cluster of cargo pods. Mm, uh, it's a bit further away than I want to go. What are you doing, Sherry? You're just wandering by. Okay. Yeah, these mufflers are starting to die because of food issues. In fact, those ones, because they're really close. I think we might actually allow those to be hauled through because it's just extra food. It's not. It's uh, got to be good for us. Uh, and Galga appears. To, yeah, he's made that power condor. Excellent. Uh, apart from the big fight, I don't think there's going to be much story this time round. Just want to get a few bits and pieces organised, and then we can start building onwards. So there you go. This one's been built. So let's turn that off. Uh, trade ship, they're a food trader, not particularly interested. How much metal have we got left? We've got 225. So one thing we can do here, we've got all this stuff here as well. So actually, let's just build a few more turrets. Um, security, improvised turret. One, two, three, four, five. I think you can do all of them. Okay, let's get all of them in. Let's see how long it takes and whether or not we've got enough metal. And also, orders, haul things. Let's get some of this stone out of the way because it's basically just going to get in the way and provide people cover. And we don't want that. There we go. 
and we do actually seem to be chewing through a bit of the stone here we're building up a bit of stone in the stockpile so once these are built we'll get that stone wall built over there and a stone wall built down here and away we go yep yeah. we're just not recharging power fast enough yet so after we have these built the next step is getting some power sorted out in fact what we can do here is are any of these beds not used? That one's not used. So let's turn that off. Let's just cut down a bit on our power usage. Those are all used. That one we can live without now. Probably that one as well. And let's try living without that one. And as long as we're not actually cremating someone, that doesn't need to be turned on. Yeah, that should save us a bit of power. And these, of course are going to cost us a lot of power so let's just turn them off for now we only need them when we're actively being attacked and when we are being attacked that's a nice big radius it covers the doors to the area it covers you know, this, this area I want everyone to run down so that's, that's going to work very well I think excellent John working there are you cooking who's our cook why, John, are you cooking? John, cooking at three. Actually, I think, you know what, I want to just have, I want to have a dedicated cook, see how that works. So we'll turn these off. And, yeah, we'll let Tara do the cooking. And if she's not cooking, she'll grow. And that should really be all that she's doing, given the speed of food that we eat here. And then nobody else is going to do it, and then she'll get all the skill points, if nothing else, so she'll be able to make better food later on. Hey, Otara, looks like you've got a job. Oh, good, and that means you'll be cleaning up a little bit as well, so then this, this area could definitely need cleaning up a bit, so that's excellent. Are you guys tidying up? I don't want you guys tidying up. Barrow, what's in here? Barrow is a coal oh, okay because we can't haul any more stone all right let's get that sorted out because we definitely need to haul this stone zone stockpile let's extend this stockpile up here let's get a bit more stone in there and then these guys yep there they go they run and pick up the stone that's excellent and it'd be nice if we could get this stuff out as well Okay, so housemate from Village of the Crag is visiting the colony. Four constructions are missing materials there. Those. Have we actually run out of metal? We've run out of metal. So let's get somebody um, mining here as well then, shall we? There we go. Those doors have been built. A group of pirates from the Grey Sledgehammers have arrived in drop pods. It looks like they want to besiege the colony. Well, that probably looks like what we're going to be dealing with next episode. Let's see where they are. There they are. So, how are we doing on building stuff? Alright, okay, so we're... We need to build those and we still actually don't, we don't have any mortars anymore because they were destroyed in the last attack so I think what I will do right now is when Tigress is sorted out I'll send her up to snipe at them for a bit and then that will buy us a bit of time character and thoughts needs okay so she's doing it alright apart from rest she's sleeping when she slept we'll get her up there to do some work There we go, she's awake. Draft. Get you there. I think you take pot shots. Though, to be totally honest with you, given the number of people there and the amount of food they have there, you probably just wait a little bit. And they'll starve themselves to death.
Yeah, they're aiming at Tara. How big a radius you got? Okay, you go there. That's not quite enough. So you come up here. Oh, that was close. You just take some pot shots. Yeah, that's not going to help you much. I'm building a lot of weapons there, which means that they're going to be concentrating on that rather than shooting at me. Yep, Tigris has made one of them leave already. And they can't shoot for Toffee, which is just what we want. Um, those aren't built yet. Is mining happening? Mining is happening, so resources are being procured. Um, do we have anybody passing by? No. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be sniping these guys for a little bit because we're a bit short of metal. If an industrial trader comes across or someone like that, we will buy some metal to speed things up. But for now, this will do. All right. And we should get some nice weapons out of it as well, or indeed a pistol. Yeah, good, they're not working very well and we are getting the closer ones at the very least I wonder actually yeah they are damaging those mortars which is great because if we can destroy one of those mortars we can kill a lot of them quite easily Tigress you go over here ooh Oh dear, right, you're going back home. Rest that off, we'll send someone off in a little bit. So, okay. It looks very much like uh, we've dealt one problem. We have another problem coming up. We might actually just have to starve them. Out, which is not really going to take that long because we're so short of metal. Not the end of the world. They're going to go through that three, I think, three meals a day. They're going to go through that quite quickly, aren't they? Then they get all disoriented and they get all ill and whatever. So I think we're doing all right there. Don't hit Tigris. Thank you very much. And in fact, our 20 minutes is more than up. So I'm going to end it there. We've had one big battle. All's well with the world. Thank you very much. I'm Simon Parsons. This has been Sunless Sea. Thank you and good night.